Hey, people. It's Mike. Um, yeah, it's been a week. Um, and next week's gonna pro this week's gonna be interesting. Um, first thing, I had to buy a new tablet because my old one is having a hard time charging, so that was money that I didn't want to spend, but uh, you know what? Maybe it was what it was. Um, and so, yeah, it's not the greatest tablet. It works, but... But, um, overall, this last week, especially this last weekend, was very interesting. Um, wound up going to a class, a Flogging 101 class, and good things, bad things, things that should have never been brought up, and especially within the demos, there were sure things that, that I just sat there and went... Okay. Um, overall, it was good, but the one question that I had, right over their heads. Um, I asked a, a question about, as they had talked about, um, you know, about within the play, you know, potential of the person you're playing with having an orgasm. But they didn't get what I was trying to say, which was there's more than one type of flogging. Flogging is not all about pain. Flogging is about whatever it is you're trying to do. Um, specifically, that if you are playing sensually, you can do sensual flogging. You can do a massage type flogging. You can do a pain style flogging. You can do a um, you can do uh, flogging that is uh, meant to have a um, just lost it there, uh, but multiple styles. I mean, here's the thing: pretty much every play type that we do, no matter what it is, you can do a sensual spanking. You can do a pain spanking. You can do whatever. You can do caning that way. You can do l almost literally any style of um, of play that way. Uh, there's very few, you know, very few that fall outside of that category. Things like humiliation. That's kind of it's in its own category. Uh, you know, torture. You can't really do to do a. Um, you can't really do a, sen a sensation version of torture. It's not, it's not doable. But they just totally just kind of went over their head. And I was with my with my pet, and she completely got what I was trying to say, and they completely missed it, which I thought was like, if you're gonna teach class, you need to know this kind of stuff and prepare if a question like that comes up. Um. The demos themselves were good, but repetitive. And what I mean by repetitive is all three of the presenters presented the exact basic style of flogging. What I like to call the one, two, three, four, and the cock and load, or a cock, load, and fire, which is basically one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, cha -cha, boom, cha -cha, boom, cha -cha, boom. And they basically stood, you know, here's the person, they stood like this pretty much 90% of the time. The only other things that they did were like baseball swing hits and a, cue, and a few other minor things with a little bit, uh, one of them did a little bit of Florentine, uh, but... The amount of wasted energy in their in their flogging was amazing, just absolutely amazing. <clears throat> I can do what I do and do exactly what they did, and only have half of the amount of energy loss that they did, simply because of the way I hold myself, the way I move my hands, the way I move my arms. There was no variation 
in what they were trying to do. It was very by the book way. And you know what? It, especially for a beginner, that's fine. But you got to experiment. You, I mean, the the way I usually stand, and I'll eventually do a video on this when I do a uh, when I do flogging is more of how a fencer stands, more sideways. You know, I literally get my body completely sideways. So they're standing this way, I'm like this, and I'm able with my do it to get a lot more motion versus if I'm here I'm just doing this if I'm here I can come up and do more different kinds of motion I can get a lot more going on as I'm playing it just felt very generic and yes I understand that this was supposed to be a 101 class but this is the way they do things normally and I'm like you got to be able to have multiple ways of doing something. You can't just do it the one way. If you can't do it more than one way, you are locked into a method. To me, I like knowing as many different ways of doing it as possible. The more I see people play, I can steal something and go, okay, that's good, I like that. There was two things that I got out of it, the entire class. And I understand that I'm not the you know not the norm, but this was a 101 class, and I'm not a 101 person. But I got two things, and one of them was by accident. We never mentioned what it was, and the second was something that I'd seen in the past, but I had never really thought of including in my play until I saw them play, which was a Ugh, this is a bad one to do it with, but taking the flogger and using it as massaging to warm the skin up. Okay, second was there was a flip that he did, which I'm looking at it going, okay, if he did that accidentally, okay, did that on purpose, he should have mentioned it. But it was what it was. And, but the good thing that came out of it more than anything else is that up here where I'm at, there's a new, new group forming. And these are serious players who plan to have parties and have serious munches and serious parties. And just talking to the founders, the people who are on the board, which actually have a board, which is something as I think is a necessity. They just invited us to be members without hesitation. I thought that was really awesome of them. And I am excited to go to their munch in a couple weeks and go to the party in a couple weeks. This is the way I think it should be done. And I'm really interested to see where it's gonna go. And I really want to be part of it. And I want to be more than just a person who goes. I want to actually interact and eventually be part of the board and actually do, you know, try to help build an organization that actually knows what they're doing and actually cares about the community. Not just players, but lifestylers. There is a major difference between somebody who does it on the weekend and somebody who lives it. This is what I do. I live it. This is my life. So, yeah. Um, but this week, uh, you know, got got a four day, four day work run um, where I'm doing cooks help, which means it's not going to be that big of a deal. Um, and then two days is cook, which cook is always a little bit more. Last week I did uh, six days, uh, six out of seven days, I was a cook um, to more, you know, to greater extent than the other, but. Overall, I think it came out, the week came out really good. Um, this week is just going to be an on and off week. Um, I got a couple videos I want to do this week. Next weekend is going to be really interesting. Because... <laughs>
Sorry. That's a text message probably from the person I was just about to talk about. But um, I have my baby girl coming up on Friday. And she's going to be with me Friday, Friday afternoon, Friday evening, all day Saturday. Then Sunday, Sunday she's going to have breakfast with my pet. So this is the first time those two are going to have any real interaction. So that's going to be very interesting. And if all goes well, they're going to come back here and all three of us are going to play. But I don't know yet. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm leaving it up to them what they decide to do. But on Sunday, then I'm going out with my pet, and we're going to ride in a horse-drawn sleigh up at a place up here where you can go on a horse-drawn sleigh. I've never been on a horse-drawn sleigh. I've always wanted to. I've always seen the seen videos and seen you know things with it, and I've always thought, hmm, that's not, that looks interesting and fun. Never done it. Right now, we have a ton of snow on the ground. Mass ton. We got hit big time this last weekend. My van is currently stuck because, you know, because of the snow. So fortunately, I can walk to work so I don't have to deal with it. But yeah, it's it was interesting. And I'm interested to see what's going to happen this next weekend. I'm hoping... That everything works out okay between the two of them and that they actually get you know they actually get along well because baby girl is what in this community is called a unicorn and what that is is a, is a third that knows their place they understand they are a third and are not not afraid of you know or afraid of anything they're not afraid you know of um of being a second and they understand that they will never become the alpha they will never become the first so that's gonna be interesting to see how that goes but i rambled on here for 12 and a half minutes so i'm gonna let you go that's it for now be well and safe